beautiful weather like these days, it's tempting to get out on a boat, catch some fish, but you know what, vacationers and even locals may wonder if seafood caught during red tide bloom is still safe to eat. So I checked in with a local environmental engineer and expert on red tide to find out. Just because it's not on the coast and because we're experiencing less respiratory irritation and seeing less dead fish doesn't mean that red tide's just gone. Now that's Tracy Fanara. She has studied local red tide for years now. She says red tide toxins accumulate inside the fish, basically the fish guts, but those parts are disposed of when a fish is filleted, so it should be fine to eat. People have successfully eaten tons of fish that way during a Florida red tide bloom. Fanara warns, though, to stay away from any fish that appear disoriented in the water and avoid fishing in areas with a lot of dead fish because that may be an indication of the, where the red tide is. And finally, recreational shellfish is banned during red tide. So things like clams, oysters, and mussels should not be eaten if collected during red tide. Some can even hold on to toxins, according to Fanara, for well after the bloom is gone. So she recommends eating shellfish that's been farmed during a bloom. And the FWC says that seafood from restaurants and grocery mm -hmm. stores, that's also fine because they are strictly monitored. Okay, that's good to know. Especially, you know, from a business standpoint, yeah. too. Yes. You know, you want to make sure that they're getting that income as well. And people aren't scared to eat at, the, at their restaurants. So that's, and I, I thought about all the toxins are right in those guts. So just get rid of those guts mm. and fillet that fish. I love it. <laughs> Amanda Holly can show us how to do that. She can. <laughs> You can ask questions like this of some experts and talk to fishermen at this weekend's Bo Outdoors and Boat Show. It kicks off today and runs through Sunday at Armature Works in Tampa. Admission's free. Just come on out there. You'll get to meet us, the Bucks cheerleaders, mascots, and you can find all this information out on WFLA.com. How's traffic right now, Beth? All right.